What is up, you guys, and welcome to our first Poké Topics for Generation 7. Yeah, this is an old series on my channel that I actually have been, I'm not gonna lie, not avoiding, but not necessarily felt that an episode of this caliber would be necessary. But uh, as of the meta starting to settling, so of course are my meta thoughts about things, and I actually want to talk about a few things that I would see either change or embrace, and finding type is a typing that I've actually been nerfed since generation 6 very very clearly with the fairy type as a response to how viable speedier fighting types was in generation 5. Now that said, fighting type was not as broken as the likes of the dragons and as a result a lot of fighting types really really are struggling this generation, definitely this. And we're gonna talk about the main issues with the fighting types today, but also just touch on why the fighting type was a, such a ferocious threat back when, and why they aren't today, and of course, how to possibly fix them down the road. So with that said, we can of course start off with the obvious thing here. Now, first of all, of course, what made fighting types so viable back when in Generation 5? Well, there are a lot of aspects, but it all boils down to basically there are a lot of Pokemon got upgraded. And what I mean by that is that Conkeldor was introduced, which was basically a um, chomp on steroids, and it still kind of is. So that introduction really, really brought, uh, of course, extra offensive antagonists to the type itself. But also speedier fighting types were introduced in the likes of Mian Xiao. We had, um, of course, the legendary, I was going to say trio, but it's a quartet of Keldeo, um, Kobelion, Dragion, and Verizion. All of them sporting the 108 speed tier, which was till that day, actually. Well, let's face it, nothing like it. And, um, of course, Terrakion really, really stood out there. And it made the meta shifted ever since, since where a lot of really, really bulky offensive Pokemon such as Tyranitar, who dominated the tier for Generation 2, who all of a sudden really, really got it tough. And uh, just overall, this piece here itself really, really erased the bar. And the Pokemon's there was extremely viable, and it was rewarding sets to be banded or scarfed or even be able to set up with these Pokemon because they were actually mixed offensive walls all of a sudden. And of course, like the Conkeldor had priority in Muck Punch, would definitely did hurt to get it with the likes of either Guts or Iron Fist. So yeah, the fine types were very dangerous because they hit hard and hit everything hard. So the response was actually Generation 6 Fairy types, which while they did sport poison jab and whatnot, these were clearly weaker moves. There were very few Pokemon who could hit a fairy type super effectively enough to be able to get rid of them. And quite frankly, the meta shifted so far that, of course, Cobalion, who was RU in Generation Set 5 and actually was deemed the worst out of the four, was now very, very interesting because it actually could tackle the fairy types that the others simply could not. That said, Trakion still extremely viable. Conkeldor falls somewhere in between and ended up Yu-Yu eventually due to the lack of the speed to rough into the Pokemon itself. And it really should be stated that Talonflame raised the bar a little bit, hitting every fighting type super effectively, flawlessly, which made very, very few fighting types very viable. The few introduced was actually mainly, of course, the Mega Pokemon. While Pangoro was a Pokemon introduced, I really, really don't believe it brought too much to the table to get with Howlucha, which as of that gen was not too viable, it was still a dangerous threat, but it didn't raise the bar, though it should be said that it was a speedier, um, a speedier fighting type, which as stated, are kinda rare. That said though, the Pokemon introduced here wasn't that extremely well viable, we have Chestnut basically, which was the only real fighting type, I do believe, for that generation, so it's it was kind of boring, I, I won't deny it, and um, this generation was pretty much the same as the only new Pokemon here that was introduced for Generation 7 was Bazimian, which might be one of the most boring thing ever, to be completely honest, with Crabominal, who definitely was out of priority and completely by default falls flat. So, one would say that maybe the, this generation was really bad, but you have the likes of Kama O, which could Dragon Dance, which was definitely a preferable thing, and then we got Buswell and Firmosa. Buswell, definitely a clear response to what Heracross probably could have been, but as stated also, it's had a luck lessening speed tier of 79, 
Basically, it's a slower fighting type, yet again, it hasn't been revisited as a speedier threat. We had two speedier threat though, though they both ended up being banned from the meta in Smogon tiers for very, very, very obvious reasons. First and foremost, Feramosa, I do believe that's the second specially offensive uh, fighting type. And it lacks aura sphere. But it had something that I think a lot of fighting types are missing today, and quite frankly, I think the typing as a whole just are lacking this overall, and that was a strong speed tier with a strong offensive stats to boot. Now, clearly, it was a mixed attacker with very high attack and special attack with a high speed tier, and Marshall was also introduced this generation, and I would say that it's a clear response to the issues it's also facing. It is that it's very, very offensively capable as well as speedy with priority, it's a pretty busted mount for sure, but it is a clear response to what I definitely believe the fighting types are missing today. And that will boil down to what I would say a very simple concept. Now the fighting types introduced since generation, I will stretch it from actually free, are response to already pre-existing fighting types and to some extent they never really get out of it. Every fighting type introduced till generation 5 was slower, defensively more capable, hitting super effective or hitting really hard on the physical side. The thing is here, all of them hits very hard on the physical side. As you guys can see on the sheet already, there are very, very rare times where a Pokemon can be especially offensive. And while, of course, Veramosa was that, Keldeo is that, and Lucario can be that, there really aren't any specially offensive capable fighting types, and even if they are, they aren't that many. I mean, Embor is top 5 in special attack offensive fighting types, that's that's not alright. We have Mian Xiao on that list too at, at 6, and we rarely see that one capitalize on grass, not an aura sphere. What I'm trying to say is here that, you know, even if they have a special attack, they are so much better at the physical side that you are much better going with that. And I think that's a very, very boring concept that makes the fighting type as a whole super predictable. And just overall, the speed tier is also something that the fighting type hasn't necessarily resolved. While Cobalion and Vrysion were speedier threats, they were weaker than most fighting type, making them able to shake them fairly alright. While Kelio and Dracion are physical drowners and do have an offensive stat to boost their speed tier, they are very rare in this concept, and there are very few fighting types to break that 109 speed here. It's only Ma Shadow and Firmosa from there. And outside of that, we have the Mega Pokemon and Mega Gallade, absolutely. But we don't have a speeder fighting type with a good attack set in mind. The only one I stated was the Ma Shadow introduced to get with Firmosa. They got banned for that very reason. But quite frankly, I do believe Game Freak know what needs to be done with these Pokemon. Just maybe not overdo it on Pokemon that already have the base total to pull that off. We need private Pokemon. We need stronger Pokemon to be capitalizing that. But Fighting type lack lustering that already. It doesn't have a clear response to that concept. We have the Wall Breaker variant, but we had the Wall Breaker variant introduced every generation from the Fighting type category, and that is something that the Fighting type just simply not need. We got Machamp, and then you got Conkeldur. I mean, come on, we got Primate and Pessimian. That's that's not what we want. That's not what we need. We have Crabominal, and of course, all all of a sudden we got damn Pangoro, or you no. Know, the opposite of that, of course, what I'm trying to say is that they never really went out of the way to make what I would say a new variant of Mian Xiao, maybe more focusing on special attack and speed your speed tier with 105 may not just cut it. Infernape is still one of the most viable Pokemon today because it's a mixed sweeper, and even at that, it, it is not reliable or relying on its, <laughs> its special or its special attack to hit with fine and stab because it only has focus blast because too few Pokemon has Aura Sphere. And it's very, very strange to see that the most or the best Aura Sphere spammers actually are the likes of Magirna and its other Pokemon like Togekiss who gets it because you really, really just can't have of course Lucario to pull it off. While it can use it effectively, it is not good in higher tiers. And as you guys look upon the higher tier and see OU, you will not see that many fighting types. While we have the Mega Pokemon there, and Mega Medisham is definitely free falling a bit in this generation due to the one base speed. Yeah, that's a bad speed here. So well, we basically have Gallade, and we have Keldeo, and we have Trakion, and uh, we have uh, Bosco. They are, they are, that's four. OU Pokemon, five possibly with Mega Metashell, of course. 
and that's not doing a whole lot. Their stab is actually their secondary stab is what makes them somewhat desirable for that. What I'm trying to say is that they really, really aren't pushing anything that finite times already have been done for every generation so far. So yeah, what I want to fix with the finite type is actually fairly simple. Make the focus like Mars Shadow, makes the focus like Paramosa, but don't overdo it. We need the pilot variant, we need the speed, but we need a base form at 1 and 10 speed or over. Uh, not having that and not having that focus really leaves a lot to be desired with the fire type. Both Verizion and Kobelion would be in absolute proudness, in my honest opinion, had their special attack or um, physical attack been more focused than 90. Uh, I definitely believe going to mix by that really hinders them, and while they're viable, they definitely could be more viable, have they sold that already, and it's very, very unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, those are my two cents about the variant types, and really, if you want to see more about these episodes, make sure to tell me down below. I know this is a very, very different route, but I rarely talk about these things, but I do enjoy them. I do flourish in this, and quite frankly, I, I really, really want to see something happen, and I really want to inspire others to see something that I do with the Arlac Lashing as of today. So, for that, that's it, of course, guys. As always, thank you for, of course, watching, and, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.